give me like three hot bets for the weekend. What's what's kind of like staring in our face and you just you can't say no to? Oh, I mean, th- this is the week of the disgusting bet in the NFL. <laughs> I think th- there are me- there are no less than four or five games where everyone is betting one side. We're talking 90 plus percent of the action. So the first one I'll run to, okay. and because I've not heard a single person say, hey, you know who I like this weekend? Matt Ryan and the Colts. Everyone is betting on this Chiefs team. We've been tracking a trend over at the Sports Gambling Podcast for over a decade. When a team underperforms the spread by 21 points and they are catching points the next week, you're talking about a two-thirds trend. When they're at home, you're getting upwards of 70%. Again, wow. back-tested over more, probably 15 years at this point. I'm dating myself. So first one I'm going to take, the grossest dog on the board, this Colts team back against the wall, desperation spot against the Chiefs team that they've looked good. But who have they played? Have they played a defense that you're getting excited about? Yeah, I would say the Chargers. And so round two, let's see how they do out of division here. Colts, a team that have played them well in the past. And mainly for me, this just feels like a week three of where you need to be contrarian as a better because there are a number of games, Buffalo Bills, Kansas City Chiefs, Philadelphia Eagles, where everyone is lining up to take one side. Right. And we all know what happens in Vegas when that when that's the case. So first one that I, I had to go bet immediately was this Colts team. It actually opened even bigger. So uh, I got down on the six and a half. It's now since come back down to five and a half. We're seeing some positive injury news for the Colts and maybe not so good news for the Chiefs. Huh. Again, sometimes you need to be on an un- unpopular position because there's value there. The second one, is I'll, I'll run right over to the Miami game, and we're seeing the injury re- report stuff coming out today with the Buffalo players being uh, ruled inactive or out. But again, Miami was catching as much as six and a half points in this situation. Divisional home spot. Wow. Down in Florida. We're talking about the heat. We're t- I, the fact that Tua is coming off a six-touchdown game and they're still getting no, no respect on the spread. <laughs> We saw Buffalo screw up a game in Florida last year when they went down to Jacksonville, messed around, and only scored like nine points. And so, again, recency is so impactful on betters, and there's so many more people betting now. How could I possibly bet against Buffalo? They can't, they can't lose. I'll, I'll give you a really fun nugget here. Since 2000, there have been four teams before the Buffalo Bills to average beating a team by more than 20 points and covering the spread by more than 20 points. So the Bills were the fifth team since 2000 to be dominating that much in the first two weeks of the season. All four of those teams failed to cover the spread in week three. What are we talking? It's market dynamics, right? We're buying teams low. We're selling teams high. So in this case, we're selling the Chiefs. We're selling the Bills at high points. And and you know what? I'll give you a buy low. This okay. one's going to seem like it's a little a little more obvious, but the Bengals only laying five, five and a half, six points against this Jets team coming off a miraculous win. Uh, it's the convergence of two things. The Bengals aren't that far away. The offensive line's a bit of the me- a bit of a mess, but back against the wall. This is still a Super Bowl caliber team, yeah, yeah. and now they're getting the Jets, who if they didn't have that prayer, they lost that game by 10, 13 points to the Browns. They got blown out by the Ravens. Joe Flacco, kind of a laughing stock until he made that beautiful throw to Corey Davis. So I'm going to buy low on the Bengals and lay the points in New York. Those are good ones. I like it. I like everything.